Grab your friends, wear your florals. I'm wearing my florals. It ends with us. I feel like this movie has like an identity crisis. Like it doesn't know what it's trying to be. Because of the topics it was trying to touch upon, it does seem like this movie was supposed to be darker but they kind of brightened it up. They wanted to be a romantic, flowery movie, and then they also wanted to portray DV and then actually be dark. But they kind of just ended up in the middle. And we all know when you end up in the middle, you're neither. It just feels mediocre. It feels like lukewarm water. We all hate lukewarm water, okay? I do not like lukewarm water. This video will contain spoilers for this movie. The main character that Blake Lively plays, Lily Blossom Bloom, she is a lover of flowers and she is opening a flower shop in Boston. The movie starts out with her father passing and she has nothing good to say about him. And we later find out that is because he was physically violent with her mom. And she's having a hard time, I guess, processing that. And she meets the main guy, main guy Ryle. He's throwing a fit, kicking a chair. That is a very big red flag. And I'm just like, dude, this guy came on screen with a red flag, waving a red flag. They just talk and they just start flirting. You're just like, oh, is it gonna be one of those romantic movies? I was scared of this guy, like, even though they tried to make it subtle. And I understand that they're trying to make it subtle because they're like, you know, a lot of the times you can't really tell with people like this. Sometimes you're in a relationship and you're blinded by your love, which Lily was. I liked how this film, the moments where he was violent, they didn't really show it very clearly. Like, they made it seem like an accident, which is because we're seeing all of this through Lily's eyes. It seemed like he didn't intentionally want to harm her, but then in the end, when Lily finally comes to her senses, we do get to rewatch those scenes as they actually happen, and you could tell that he actually purposefully hit her, pushed her down the stairs, you know, did all that. That was a cool thing the movie did. The other main character is Atlas. He is Lily's first love. We get to see a lot of flashbacks. Actually, I really like the flash. At first, I was like, why are we getting such long flashbacks back to her high school years? This relationship between her and this other guy was blossoming. Eventually, in the present day, Lily's opening her flower shop. She's getting together with Ryle. I don't know if she's playing hard to get or whatever. See, this is the part in this movie where I'm just like, what are you trying to say? She's interested in him, but she's also trying to play hard to get. But then he's also not backing off when she's saying no. So I'm just like, are you trying to, are you trying to make this sort of a cutesy thing? You know how some girls like it when it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the right person to talk about this. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like they were trying to go for, he has to kind of work for her. And, but they're also trying to show that he's the pushy type that's like, doesn't take no for an answer. And I'm like, I hate people like that. In this situation, I couldn't tell if Lily was like, did she want it or did she not? Like, it was weird. But then eventually over time, you realize in actual situations where she really doesn't want something, he's like forcing it onto her. So I'm just like, yeah, that's a, red flag. Every time you see a guy who cannot take no for an answer, that's another big red flag. Ryle had red flags tattooed over his body. I swear to God, he was just like so scary. In no point of this movie did I find him even remotely attractive. And I know he was supposed to be, you know, the hot, the dark, handsome, hot type. Like his body is freaking ripped. And I'm like, you're a neurosurgeon. Do you have time to work out? Like what is maybe they do? Okay. But his personality, like he was so scary. The way he looked at her, the way every time you couldn't tell if he was just gonna burst into flames or if he was, he was actually gonna be sweet about anything. Like his face was just so creepy to me. They showed them in love a lot more than the DV. So I'm just like, is this supposed to make it like a hard decision for her to leave him? Because Atlas is over there. Okay, yes, this is the point where we get to... <laughs> The part where coincidentally, okay, Atlas, her first love, actually opened a restaurant in the city because she's in Boston, I guess, because they talked about moving to Boston when they grow up. So it uh, makes sense. He, he followed through with his promise. It's sad because he's not real. Guys, Atlas doesn't exist, okay? There's no one in this world who is Atlas. He's like waiting for her. I swear to God, he opened the restaurant because, and he named the restaurant after the things that they talked about when they were young. Okay, they there was a whole thing. And then I'm just like, so he's just single waiting for her this whole time. I mean, who does that? 
who does that except in like Asian dramas or like romantic shows like this but this isn't even a romantic movie the adult version of Atlas was nothing like the kid ver the teenage version of him so boom. Atlas at first I was just like what happened to his accent he was talking completely different I'm like okay they couldn't find an actor that matched better but whatever we're gonna let it slide because Atlas was such a perfect human being but obviously this gets Ryle all jealous because he's like oh he's the guy he's the guy that took your virginity <laughs> <laughs> and a very scary scene in which Ryle finds out that Lily's tattoo, she had a tattoo of a heart. It represented a little heart made of roots that Atlas gave her when they were young. And then she never told Ryle. She still clearly had feelings for Atlas. So Ryle's jealousy was actually justified, like because she technically was hiding stuff from him. If she felt the need to hide things from him, it's his fault for making her feel uncomfortable to the point where she couldn't tell him these things like she had to hide the meaning of her tattoo but he finds out through like a magazine feature because atlas's restaurant is like ranked number one and then it talks about how he opened the restaurant because of the things lily told him like his first love something and so he he connected the dots he's really mad and jealous about that and so he tries to bite it off first of all he forces lily to read the article and she's trying really hard to get out of it but he's like he's not taking no for an answer and eventually it ends up with him on top of her trying to bite off the tattoo and forcing himself onto her and that was the moment she finally like leaves him i forgot there was also a moment where he found alice's phone number in her phone case because i mean he gave it to her just in case she needed it but obviously it sends him back into another jealous fit and she also finds out she's pregnant so that's an awful thing but okay it ends up being a good thing because it helped her sort of realize that she needed to to get away from Ryle. And this is also another part in the movie which is quite unrealistic because you have her just going about her day still working at the flower shop, which Ryle knows. So I'm just like, he was trying to message her, call her nonstop. She's not picking up. He never went to the flower shop to hunt her down. Any kind of stalkerish, can't take no for an answer, red flag guy would have just hunted her down. In the end, they're kind of on good terms, but she still breaks up with him. She kind of uses the kid. She's like, well, what if our daughter one day tells you that her boyfriend pushed her down the stairs, but it was an accident? And he's like, yeah, I can see how that's unacceptable. Okay, I'll back off. And I'm just like, wow, another unreal. This is almost as unrealistic as a guy like Atlas existing in the real world. I don't know. This movie was just, it was hard to believe. I know, I get what it was trying to do. You know, I can see it. Okay, I can see what it's trying to do, but it wasn't executed in the most realistic or even like clear way. It just seemed a little bit too ambiguous. DV is DV. There's nothing with it. You can't romanticize that. It's just not, it's not a good feeling. It just feels like what, why? Why Lily, what are you doing with Ryle? Okay, what is happening? Can you just back off? Like, can we just not engage? <laughs> like he's scary, okay? Look in his eyes. He looks like a monster. And then in the end, after, several years she runs into atlas again dude's still single damn he really doesn't exist i guess it's implied that they get together 